Welcome to this animal style flow. This is gonna be a fun one today. We're gonna to do away with any yoga alignment rules and we're gonna focus on primal mobility movement. So we're gonna explore new postures and move in new transitions and new ways that you may have never moved in before. So we're gonna be creating all those cool new neural pathways. So this class is gonna be fun, playful, and a little bit weird, which is why I'm wearing my space buns, because you know you gotta match the hair to the theme. You won't need any props. Don't overthink it. Just move. Let's go. All right, friends. Now you're probably starting off on your mats, and we love our mats, but mentally prepare for moving off your mat. We are going to cross the perimeter of our mat into the space surrounding our mat. And that's a good thing. We want to take up space. We're going to be exploring and playing in all of this area. So just mentally internalize that right now. Allow that to bring a little smile to your face. And we'll come to an easy seat, however that looks like for you today. Bring your hands face down on your thighs and just slowly start to rub them up and down on your thigh. Add a little bit of pressure here. We're wanting to create friction. We're wanting to create some heat. Move them a little bit faster. Move them a little bit faster. Creating some energy, feel the energy. <sighs> Little faster. And slow it down. <sighs> feel the energy you created. <sighs> Beautiful. Inhale your shoulders up. And exhale them down your back. <sighs> Inhale up. And exhale down. Draw big circles with your shoulders. <sighs> So circle them forward and up, and down and back. Match your breath with this, so big inhales up, big exhales down. Start to incorporate your ribs in this movement, your spine. So it starts to become a full body wave, almost like a cat cow seated. Don't worry about it, what it looks like. Don't overthink it. Beautiful. Release that, come back to neutral. If you're not sitting on your booty, go ahead and take a seat on your glutes. And an easy seat, maybe put a pillow underneath there if you need a little extra lift. And we'll inhale our left arm over to the right. Then when we round, maybe see if we can round back a little bit. So our left hand is reaching back and over as we switch hands. So bring this in like a half circle behind you. Reach to the right side of the room. Reach a little bit back. And reach to the left side of the room. Just opening through the chest. And then we'll reverse it so we'll reach to the front of the room. So reach forward, rounding through the back. Exaggerate it, you can get pretty low to the ground. Beautiful. And next time you're facing the top of the mat, come to a tabletop, sit back down on your heels, and we'll take a little wrist warm up. So round your wrist, draw big circles in your, with your wrists in one direction. And then the other direction. And then imagine you have water in your fingertips tips, and flick the water off or blinker lights. Fast, 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 fast. Blink, 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 blink. Beautiful. Then place the top of your hands on the mat with your fingers pointed back towards you. 
come into this like tabletop position, but keep your knees pretty close to you and then just lean back, let your wrists come up. And then flip the hands so your fingers are pointed back towards you still, but it's the palm of your hand towards the mat. And if any other wrist stretch feels good for you, take it. Any type of intuitive movement you want to include here in this class, that's the name of the game. Beautiful. Now come into your tabletop. Bring your right hand fingers to your temple. Inhale, look up. Your elbow reaches up towards the sky. And on your exhale, bring it to your wrist. So we're working our thoracic spine. Breathe in, open. And exhale, close. In, open. Exhale, close. Don't think about it too much. Just move with your breath. Your inhale expands you. Your exhale closes it down. Let's make it a little bigger. Next time you inhale, reach your arm all the way up. Exhale, needle it through. Not all the way, just reach it through. Get a good stretch in there. Inhale, reach it up and back. Exhale, needle it through. Exaggerate it. Make it a little bit bigger with your breath. Inhale. And place the hand back down onto the mat. We'll switch it off. Left hands at your temple. Left fingers at your temple. Inhale. Look up. Your elbow rises towards the sky. Exhale. Elbow towards wrist. So your inhale expands. Exhale closes. With your breath, just follow your breath here. In, out, in, you can add on and reach your arm up, and on your exhale, needle it through. Doesn't have to be that deep, just reach and expand. Reach and expand. Reach, expand. Reach, expand, and come to your tabletop. Tuck the toes, hover the knees. Feel the engagement here. Bring your ribs together so they're knitting in, working your core. And then we're gonna move and shift both of our knees to the left. It's gonna swivel our feet and we're gonna pick up our left hand. Reach up towards the sky. Exhale, close it down, come back to center. Switch it to the other side, knees go to the right. Feet swivel, right hand rises, inhale, expand. Exhale, come to center. Keep the knees pretty low to the ground. Keep the engagement. Inhale to the left. To center. To the right. Center. Left. Center. Right. Center. Left. Center. Right. Center. We're going to add on when we go to the left. Kick your right foot out underneath. Then center. Then to the right, kick the left foot out underneath. Then center. To the left, kick the right foot out. Center. To the right, kick the left foot out. One more time each side, however you want to do it. Don't think about it too much. Beautiful. Come to your tabletop, hovering the knees. Press the heels or press the glutes back towards the heel so you're in this like lifted knee child's pose. Then inhale, ripple it all the way through to your up dog. That's the movement. Your exhale sends you to this child's pose with lifted knees. And inhale, up dog. Exhale, child's pose hovering. Inhale, up dog with your toes tucked. Hovering child's pose. Inhale, floating up dog. Exhale, floating child's pose. Inhale, floating up dog one more time. Exhale, floating child's. Inhale, floating up dog. Come to neutral and lower all the way down to your stomach. 
Tent your fingers off the mat. Zip up the legs, press into the mat. Inhale, cobra. Exhale, lower. Oscillating cobra here. Inhale, up. Inhale, up. Exhale, lower. Take twist. So bring your head over to your right wrist. And then on your inhale, bring it back into the left. And exhale, lower. Inhale, rise and twist. Exhale, lower. Inhale, rise and twist. Exhale, lower. Switch the side so your head at the bottom is towards your left wrist. And when you inhale, you press it away. Two more breaths. Beautiful. Lift your chest up, hover your hands. Place your hands at the back of your neck as if you're gonna do a crunch. But lift up, 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 keep a neutral neck. And then keeping your elbows in one line on one plane, rock your left elbow down, right elbow up. Then switch it out. Right elbow down, left elbow up. And switch, so you're on a diagonal. Switch, switch, switch. Switch. Release the hands, keep the chest raised, reach the hands back behind you. Keep a neutral neck. Clasp the hands, see if that can help you raise your chest a little higher. Scoop the heart center forward. Maybe you stay here, maybe you kick a foot up, maybe you kick both feet up. Flex the feet, maybe you kick your feet back. Leave the knees on the mat, no big deals. Maybe. You lift the knees off the mat into a little bow pose. Don't worry, it doesn't have to be your deepest. Just exploring. And set it all down. Take a breath. Press up into your push-up. And exhale, downward dog. Step your left foot to the outside of your left hand. Let your hips go heavy and your chest go high. So you're sinking in. Don't worry about your foot being under your knee or if your knee is splaying out. Doesn't matter. Step back into downward dog. Switch it out. Step up to the right. Downward dog. To the left. Inhale. Exhale, downward dog. Inhale, step up to the right. Exhale, downward dog. Inhale, up to the left. Exhale, downward dog. Inhale, to the right. Exhale, downward dog. Inhale to the left, left hand raises. Reach your left arm up to the air. Then plant it, step back to downward dog. Adding on the hand movement here. To the right, lift the right arm up. Reach back, place it down, downward dog. To the left, reach up, downward dog. To the right, reach up, downward dog. To the left, reach up, downward dog. To the right, reach up, downward dog. This one's different. To the left, as your left hand reaches up, kick your right leg in between, needle it through so it's out in front of you. Maybe you grab your foot, maybe you let go of it and hover it, and then step it back, downward dog. Step the right foot up, needle the left leg through, kick it up, engage the core. Maybe you grab the foot, maybe you hold it there steady, send it back. Downward dog, one more time each side with the kick. Step the left leg up, kick the right leg through. Downward dog. Step the right leg up, kick the left leg through. Send it back, downward dog. Beautiful. Step the left leg up one more time. Step the right foot, 
right next to the left foot. So the toes are gonna be off the mat to the long edge of the mat. Your right hand is planted right behind your right foot. Bring your left hand behind your left foot so you're in this like crab reverse tabletop. We're gonna play in this position here. So make sure you're grabbing and clawing into your fingertips to protect your wrists. Bring your right hand over your body and land it on the mat. See how your knees go over to the right? You end up in a hovering tabletop. Then your left hand comes up and you turn it back into reverse tabletop, but we're rotating around our mat. One more rotation into hovering tabletop. Then send it back. Right hand lifts and plants, reverse. Left hand lifts, hovering tabletop. Right hand into reverse. One more time, tabletop. Reverse, with control to tabletop, then reverse, tabletop, reverse. We'll add on for a few more with our right hand to a tabletop, then pick your left hand up, move to reverse, but don't place your left hand down. Instead, lift into your really high reverse tabletop. Your left hand touches your right shoulder, turn it into a back bend, and then place your left hand down. Then go back, hovering tabletop. Lift your right hand up. Reverse tabletop before you place your right hand down. Lift your hips, send it up. Reach your right hand back to touch your left shoulder. Turn it into a back bend and place it down. So we just did a back bend for each side. So we'll do one more just like that, either side. In this crab pose, hovering tabletop. Then go to reverse, your left hand lifts. Lift the hips, touch the left hand to the right shoulder. Lift, 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 and lower. Go through your tabletop. Then reverse tabletop, right hand lifts. Lift the heels or lift the hips. Reach the right hand to your left shoulder, back bend, and release it all the way down. Take a breath. Beautiful. We're gonna give our wrists a break and come into our forearms, but a hovering tabletop on our forearms. So come into your tabletop on your knees and then tuck your toes and hover your knees. Then move your right forearm and your right knee and foot back. Step back, they move at the same time. Then step your left forearm and your left foot back. So the same sides move at the same time. Then step back and step back and step back. Then step forward, engage the core, step forward, forward. Forward, play around here. See how big or how small you can make these steps. I hadn't really moved like this before. I wrote it down for this class. So it was so interesting to try something new. Play around with it. See where you're resisting or are you playing. For three, for two, for one. Beautiful. Step in two. Amalasana at the top of your mat. Heels in, toes off the mat, perhaps. Get a breather here, just a moment. And then exhale. Come down to your booty. We'll move with no hands into a low boat. Extend your legs, extend your arms. Then slowly with control, come up through your malasana. Use your right hand on the mat behind you. Come through your malasana. Move through a reverse tabletop. So we're lifting our hips whew, to any degree. Maybe you reach your left hand back. Maybe it goes towards the mat. Whew. Then sit back into your malasana. Booty on the mat, moving into your low boat. Whew. Then come up. Your left hand this time plants on the mat to lift your booty up through your reverse tabletop. Maybe your right arm reaches back. Maybe it taps the mat. Whew. 
then unwind through your reverse tabletop and your low boat. Come through your low boat, plant your right hand, come through your reverse tabletop. Maybe you start to find a little back bend action and set it back down into low boat. One more time, the other side, plant the left hand, lift the hips. Maybe you find a little more space this time. And sit it into your malasana. Take a breath here. Next, we're gonna move to our ape jumps. These are gonna be fun. So come to a forward fold at the top of your mat, but face the long edge of the mat. Bring your feet more than hips distance apart, bend at the knees a lot. What you're gonna do is wanna swing the top of your body a lot, really naturally. And then your right hand is gonna place in front of your left foot. And your left foot is gonna come off first. Your right foot is gonna land first. So check it out. Get some momentum with your arms, then plant your hands and hop off. I'll do it again. So find some momentum. Plant the hands and feet land. You're definitely gonna move off your mat for this one. And feel free when you land to bend your legs a lot. And if you're a handstander or you're a hopportunist and you like to take any hops, feel free to turn these into whatever. And don't think about it too much. Just find some hops. Find some hang time, perhaps. Or maybe just play with shifting your weight around. We'll take three more. <laughs> Beautiful. Take a little rest in Malasana, your yogi squat. Settle it down. And wherever you are in your Malasana, step one foot to the side. So you're in this side lunge, Skandasana. Doesn't matter about the regular alignment rules. Don't worry about your heels this time. Just kind of feel around here. And swim on over nice and smoothly to the other side. And move around, explore your skandasana, your side lunges. See if you can do them with no hands. If you feel comfortable here and you want to advance, then see if in your skandasana you can sit your hips all the way down to the ground, take your knee, and touch it to the mat. Bring it back up, lift yourself up. Lots of hip mobility there, but the freedom that you feel when you do that feels great. Try it out. Maybe you use your hands to work towards getting there. See how fluid you can make it. If you feel really fluid with that, then try this. Once you're sitting down on the mat, take your bent legs foot and extend it all the way. So you're in a pike pose. Take the other leg that was straight and bend it, bring it back behind you and come into your malasana, or excuse me, skandasana. Then you can do this really fun action of taking these rounds where you sit down all the way, bring the legs straight, and then you can move in a Skandasana 360. Beautiful, wherever you are, play a little bit more. And then plant your hands at the top of the mat, step into your downward dog for five breaths. Beautiful. Bend the knees. Take the knees all the way to the mat. 
Melt your heart into a puppy pose. We're cooling down. Beautiful, start to walk your hands back up, press into your downward dog. Inhale, your right leg up. And exhale, come into pigeon on the right. Just taking some traditional yoga asana to come into stillness. Two ways to pigeon here, depends on what you need. If you're working on your hip flexibility or you sit a lot, then staying upright in your pigeon is going to work this left so as hip flexor. It's also going to strengthen your back. Or if you want to get into your glutes, your IT band, fold forward. Or if you just want to rest here, fold forward. Beautiful. Tuck your back toe, lift the back knee off the mat, press into the hands, downward dog. Pedal it out for a moment. Inhale your left leg up. And exhale, pigeon on the left. Same two options here to stay upright and get into that right hip and work the back or to come into your humble pigeon. Beautiful. Start to lean all the way over to the left with control. Bring the left foot or the right foot around. Plant both feet on the mat and lower for five, four, three, two, one. Good job. We'll come into happy baby. So peace fingers to big toes or hands to the outside of the foot. Find any intuitive movement here. Or you can use this as yogi's choice if you want to take plow pose or some other restorative pose. You're totally good. And release the legs down. Let the feet fall open. Take the arms wide. Take up space. Release any controlled breathing. Let the face be soft. Let the chest be soft. Relax here in your Shavasana. I will bring you out.
so you can fully let go. Start to wiggle your fingers, wiggle your toes, come back into your body, roll out your wrists and your feet, and stretch long like a lion waking up from a nap, arms overhead. Then bring your knees into your chest, And take a few rocks, nice and easy, until you're all the way up. Keep your eyes closed down. And place your hands on your knees face down. Feeling the vitality in your body, the mobility that you feel now versus the beginning of class, moving in new ways and moving in ways that you don't judge yourself for. Maybe you take some of these movements and you incorporate them into other areas of your life, like a break at work or when you're stretching at the gym or in your yoga practice. But namaste, sweet friends. I hope you feel amazing. I hope you liked this fun, playful class. If you did, go ahead and drop me a little like. It always helps me out a lot. And also, I noticed that 70% of the people that practice my classes are not subscribed. So make sure you subscribe. Otherwise, you're going to miss all these fun, wild yoga classes that we do every single week. I hope to practice with you soon.